Not even a week ago, we watched the second ever Alpha flight test and the first time both Firefly Aerospace and the Alpha launch vehicle successfully reached orbit. However, while one launch is great, Firefly has much bigger plans for the future, including consistent and reliable access to space with this launch vehicle among others. In order to do that, they need more launch contracts and missions. This being said, just yesterday morning, the company announced a brand new launch contract with the US Space Force. Specifically, Firefly was selected by the US Space Force's Space Systems Command to provide launch services for SSC's Victus Knox mission. This brings the company's schedule to six Alpha launches set for 2023 and another 12 in 2024. It's clear that Firefly Aerospace is full steam ahead after the recent mission with no plan of slowing down. Now that they have a unique capability to reach orbit, they intend to use it to its full potential, with a busy launch schedule starting in the coming months. Here I will go more in depth into the recent launch contract, Firefly's upcoming launch schedule, what to expect, and more. Just yesterday, Firefly tweeted saying, Announcement. Firefly has been selected by the U.S. Space Force's USSF Space Systems Command, SSC, to provide launch services for SSC's Victus Knox mission, to demonstrate end-to-end -end tactically responsive space capabilities. The mission plans to do this by including the launch segment, space segment, ground segment, and on-orbit operations. Victus Knox will perform a Space Domain Awareness, or SDA, mission from low Earth orbit. We are honored to be chosen by the Space Force for this important national security mission, said Bill Weber, CEO of Firefly Aerospace. Now more than ever, our country needs the ability for quick response capabilities for combat threats in space. Our Alpha launch vehicle is designed to drive affordable, rapid access to space. We look forward to working with Lt. Col. Justin Belts and Lt. Col. McKenzie Birchenough, along with their experienced team at Space Force, to help bring this innovation to the national security community. This end-to-end -end mission will demonstrate the United States' ability to rapidly place an asset on orbit when and where we need it ensuring we can augment our space capabilities with very little notice, said Lt. Col. McKenzie Birchenough, material leader at SSC Space Safari. The goal of the program is to bolster the United States' responsive space capabilities, allowing for the fast deployment of satellites during a conflict. Space Systems Command is committed to addressing threats in space domain and Victus Knox will provide space capabilities on an unprecedented timeline, stated Lt. Col. Justin Belts, SSC's Small Launch and Targets Division Chief. The United States launch industry is the envy of the world, innovating to bring more speed and more capability at a lower price. This contract announcement comes in addition to more updates from Firefly on the recent launch success and busy schedule going forward. Specifically, right now, Firefly is completing the Acceptance Testing Protocol, or ATP, for its Alpha 3 vehicle in preparation for its upcoming NASA VCLS Demo 2 FB Elena 43 launch. Back in December 2020, the company was awarded this launch opportunity from NASA. The mission involves a launch of two CubeSat constellations to a 550km sun-synchronous orbit, separated by a minimum of 10 degrees in plane change. In addition, Firefly is continuing the production of multiple rockets at its Texas manufacturing facilities, using all the lessons learned from existing flights and testing. Currently, Firefly is scheduled for six Alpha launches to take customer payloads to space in 2023 and 12 more in 2024. Firefly also released more information regarding the recent successful mission. The company pointed out that with the success of this mission, Firefly is now the first company to launch and reach orbit from U.S. soil in only its second attempt. Firefly also becomes one of the first U.S. commercial space companies with a rocket ready to take customers to space in the highly desired 1300kg payload lift class. With the success of this flight, Firefly has announced to the world there is a new orbital launch vehicle available today, with a capacity that is pivotal to our commercial and government customers, said Bill Weber, Firefly CEO. Proving our flight and deployment capabilities on only our second attempt is a testament to the maturity of our technology and the expertise of our team. This is an exciting day at Firefly, and we have many, many more ahead. I could not be more excited for the Firefly team. Now that we know more about Firefly's new launch contract and additional details regarding the first successful launch, we can take a closer look at the company's busy future schedule. As partially mentioned prior, the next launch will be with NASA, a part of the VCLS Demo 2 contract. This launch is scheduled to happen only around two months from now on November 29th, from Vandenberg Space Force Base. This being said, the date is subject to change and could be pushed back into December or early 2023. This also has to do with the announcement of six scheduled launches in 2023 and 12 in 2024. Unfortunately, this is practically all the information Firefly released regarding these future launches. Either way, based on this update, we are seeing the company move toward a very ambitious launch cadence in a short period of time. The time between the first Alpha flight and the second was just over a year. 
While these were the first launches ever and problems needed to be fixed, it still took a significant amount of time. The current schedule suggests that only months from now we should expect to see a launch every two months, and the next year one per month. In order to make this a reality, Firefly will need to speed up production and testing significantly. One example of a specific upcoming mission once again has to do with NASA. Only a few weeks ago in the middle of September, Firefly tweeted saying, News alert! Firefly has been included as a sole source addition to NASA's Venture Class Acquisition of Dedicated and Rideshare or VADR contract. Specifically, Firefly was picked to provide launch services for the agency's VADR missions, utilizing its Alpha rocket. The fixed price indefinite delivery slash indefinite quantity contract has a five-year ordering period with a maximum total value of $300 million across all contracts. Launch vehicle capabilities for the VADR contract are divided into three different categories, below 500 kilograms, 500 to 1,000 kilograms, and above 1,000 kilograms, with a specification that there be multiple providers for each category. NASA and Kennedy Space Center determined that there was only one provider for the 500 to 1,000 kilogram category, currently on the VADR contract and posted an intent to enter sole source negotiation with Firefly to fulfill the multiple provider need. Further, NASA noted that Firefly is the only launch vehicle provider in this grouping that has completed development and conducted its first test launch. Firefly has had a long-standing relationship with NASA and is committed to providing NASA and other U.S. government entities with responsive, repeatable, reliable space transportation services, stated Jason Mello. We are honored to be included in this award and to be one of two vehicles in this class to meet NASA's Launch Services Program demand for assured access to space. The VADR contract will provide a broad range of Federal Aviation Administration licensed commercial launch services, capable of delivering payloads ranging from CubeSats to Class D missions to a variety of orbits. These small satellites and Class D payloads tolerate relatively high risk and serve as an ideal platform for technical and architecture innovation, contributing to NASA's science research and technology development. This VADR award also builds on their previous $9.8 million award of the VCLS Demo 2, which is currently being prepared for integration and will be flown on their upcoming Alpha Flight 3 mission planned for later this year. It's very clear looking at reports from Firefly Aerospace and all the different contracts being announced that the company is going full steam ahead toward an extremely busy future. With the most recent successful launch, they plan to capitalize on their newfound capability and provide consistent launch services within the space industry. However, just because a company reached orbit once does not mean it's guaranteed smooth sailing from here. Hopefully, Firefly can continue its success and become a valuable launch provider for many different companies and agencies. Firefly Aerospace managed to reach orbit for the first time just around one week ago. Only days later, they announced a new contract with the U.S. Space Force, along with a future schedule, including six launches in 2023 and 12 in 2024. If we are lucky, the next launch is just under two months away in late November with NASA. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.